Now, looking for a good quality and affordable internet service in Zimbabwe is a pretty daunting task. In most instances, the good quality internet is very expensive and the affordable internet is bad and most times it's even banned from the country. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Marston, the ZimTech guy. In this video, we're going to be looking at Tel One ADSL internet. Is it good enough for you? Let's find out. But before you do that, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Now, Tel One ADSL is probably the most affordable internet option on the market right now. But is it good enough? Well, it depends on your definition of good. More on that later. Tel One ADSL being an affordable option does not mean everyone has that option. You need to make sure that the service is available in your area. If you see this pause, chances are the service is available. If not, then it's not. Now, to apply for this service, you simply need to visit your nearest Tel One offices in your area, fill up a form, Make sure that you read the terms and conditions. And if you manage to read the terms and conditions, which means you and the Tel One lawyer are the only two people who would have done so in history. And when you're done, you pay for the service. And if you also want an ADSL modem from them, you also pay for that as well. I paid $60 for the service and the modem. This is not mandatory. You can always buy your ADSL modem elsewhere. Now, one thing about Tel One is that you have to be good at waiting. Firstly, when you make your application, you have to wait a couple of days before they even bring the service to your house. In my case, I had to wait for, I think, around seven days before they came and installed the ADSL at my home. You also need to be patient, especially when you're phoning the support, which you also be doing quite a lot because Tel One ADSL tends to go down a lot. If it's not maybe the lines that would have gone down, maybe because of weather, because of maybe an accident, whatever it is, you need to be patient for you to get the service. Even when you get a ticket from support, you also need to be patient again to wait for the guys to come around to fix the fault. And most times it takes between three to even a couple of weeks before they even fix a fault. Now that is Tel One's Achilles heel. Now talking about the internet itself, it's good depending on your definition of good. ADSL stands for Asymmetric Digital Subscriber Line. Asymmetric meaning there's an imbalance between the downloads and the uploads. ADSL tends to be stronger when it comes to the downloads and weaker when it comes to the uploads. Now, Tel One has ADSL 2 Plus, which theoretically should give you 20 megabits per second speed. Now, I'm not even sure if the guys at Tel One even get those speeds. I mean, the guys working in the servers, I don't think they get those speeds. But uh, the way ADSL works is that if you're closer to the exchange, the speeds are faster. And if you're far away from the exchange, the speeds are slightly slower. Now, in my case, the highest speeds that I've been able to get from Tel One ADSL is 3.5 megabits download and 1 megabit upload. Now, by today's standards, I know that is not fast, but where Tel One makes it up is the consistency. I was actually pleasantly surprised. Whilst the speeds are low, the stability of the connection impressed me. I was able to play online games with very low latency. I'm also able to stream movies on the television. Now granted, I'm not getting 4K quality, but the streams are actually quite good. Now if your workflow depends on very good upload speeds like us YouTubers, then you need to steer clear of Tel One ADSL. If you're going to upload a 1 gigabyte video to the platform it will take you around three hours to upload which is not good tel one adsl has very affordable prices ranging from five dollars for 10 gigabytes of data and 90 dollars for unlimited internet with fair usage policy of course customers can recharge their accounts online and buy tokens at various resellers across the country now my verdict tel one adsl is for those maybe that are running a small home office or maybe uh, browsing for the family, your kids doing homework, you know, things like that. But if you want a very, very good internet with good upload speeds, then this is not the internet for you. For me, I think the faults, if they can fix the faults or maybe even just move the whole system to fiber because it has its weaknesses. But don't get me wrong, it's actually pretty good internet and the most affordable internet on the market right now. 
that's been my review of Tail One ADSL. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.